try half of the jalapeno. <laughs> kind of scared. Well, let's go. It's not that it's not spicy, but we haven't gotten to the seeds yet. Not spicy. It kind of tastes like a bell pepper. It tastes like a bell pepper. Uh, because you haven't gotten any seeds. Get a seed. Get to, get to the seeds. Don't be taking the seeds out. <laughs> Not spicy. Definitely tastes taste like a bell. Is it hot, Audrey? Definitely tastes. It isn't spicy. I got a lot of seeds. So did Dylan. Oh, wait. Okay, Dylan is going to phase two since he can handle it. He's going to eat the whole thing. <laughs> Quit getting away from me. Get over here. <laughs> the pressure. Like it's spicy, like he's putting a face on. Like, is that? Are those? Is that a tear? <laughs> 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 you look really serious. Your face is kind of turning red. You all right? <laughs> okay, so what we have happening here is I am going to attempt for the first time ever to ferment. I have a lot of green cayenne and jalapeno that got pulled out of the garden that's just sitting there going bad. And it wasn't going well. So I had to put it on pause, put everything I had done in the fridge to be able to do it later on with the correct stuff. And here, me and Audrey are about to make some Asian cabbage rolls. I will put the link down. It is such a good dish. I love it. So green cabbage. Um, I use turkey meat. And then inside the mixture, you put like amino acids, or soy. We use the coconut amino acids, ginger, some chili pepper, honey, and mix it up and then you steam it on the stove over some water. It's it's really 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 good. So if I can remember I will try to put that down for everybody. So right here we were having problems because you're supposed to boil the cabbage for I don't know 10 minutes or so but I don't think we left it in um, we didn't let it get to like like it was starting to boil but I was probably like really hungry because pregnancy I have to I have to eat quickly sometimes so we were struggling so we ended up having to put the boil some more water put it back in there for about another five or ten minutes and uh, it went a lot smoother for us after that Living way out in the country sometimes, you just have to find something to do to entertain you and to occupy yourself. So I brought the kids to this little bitty additional park that the town built a few years ago. Just to let them get out of the house. Because even I was bored of being in the house. And we are at the powwow Where are you, here. Where are you at? That was a lot of fun. Okay. It was hard for me because I kept, you know, tiring, easy, needing to eat, you know, the joys of being pregnant and everything being three times as hard as it normally would be. Is that good? You going to save some for Liam? I will. Oh, yeah. he's gonna, he's oh there's gonna... Thomas. Beep beep, beep beep. 
That's a boba tea. Strawberry. You're eating its boogers whenever you're drinking. Yep, it's got pink boogers. And mom's it's like, all right. Boogers. You're drinking it. I guess it wouldn't be right if we didn't go to the powwow and not take a browse through all the awesome looking cars and old timey trucks and cars they had fixed up. There was quite a few vehicles. I was actually kind of surprised at how many were there. Yeah, just, just for now. Look at that smile. <laughs> Break your face, Dylan. Be up. Tammy! He's scared. He's scared. No. He scared? scared. He'll be all right. Decided to try and make some lemonade probiotic drink. I got the recipe off of Living Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Um, you can you can search for it. It's called Lemon Probiotic. It was actually really really good. I didn't think it was gonna be. We all thought it was gonna be nasty, but it was pleasantly surprising. We liked it. Right? Yeah. You probably thought it was gonna be nasty, huh? Yeah. Because I thought it was gonna be nasty too. Here. Did you try it? Did you try it? Is it good? It kind of tastes like lemonade. Thomas and Dylan are planting those plants that I showed in the last vlog. I don't know the name of them. To me, they're awkward looking, but they get rather big and they put off some pretty white big blooms so i said why not um, so they're trying to plant them here before they go bad and hopefully later on you know can show some pictures of them Go right there and you got to do what the flamingo's doing. Do what she does. So put your hands down. Now put your arms out. Are you going to do the giraffe instead? Yes. Okay. What about the puppy? What's the dog doing? Do what the dog does. No, right here. What? Right here. So get on all fours. Okay. You like it? I don't want to it. You like it? I want Replacing our filter water with a new one because I need 
some filtered water for the fermentation that I'm going to continue with that I had to stop doing last week. Uh, I gotta let it run through one time, then fill it up, and then I will use it for my cayenne. And I also got a cabbage and apple to ferment. I haven't done it yet because I've been struggling, but that's that's next on the list. Other than making sure I have filtered water, I also went and got some Redmond salt. I was watching some fermenting off of Living Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, and she suggested that that's a pretty good salt to use, so I got that. And then I got the uh, fermentation tops, pop tops, and then I got the weights for the small mouth. Next I plan on getting it for the wide mouth, but just starting out right now, so this is what it is. This is what I got. The first jar I did, um, you'll see in comparison in a little bit, uh, it wasn't completely filled. So therefore the cayenne kept going up past the weight and floating. And I know that it's not, nothing is supposed to float because it'll go bad and mold. So I 
packed it in more with more cayenne to give it less wiggle room. And that seemed to work for me, thank goodness, because I was starting to think that I was just not going to be any good at this at, at all. In here, Mama needed food. She needed to feel food. She needed to feel full really bad. So we went to the local Chinese place, and Dylan's upset because he everybody got vegetables put on their plate. He doesn't like broccoli. He struggles to eat it. Thomas got me an AC. Actually, a guy that he worked for found it on the side of the road, and Thomas did some work for him. And he got the AC for me, but unfortunately, I think, like before we hooked it, before we put the, that vent on the back of it to go out the window, it seemed to work fine. Like it was putting off cool air, cold air, but in the back before the vent was on, it was putting off hot air. So once he got the vent on it to go out the window, it mainly just started blowing hot air. So... He um, ended up getting me another one. It's not here yet. So when that one's in, I will try to get that one on video. And he, his next step is to get me some insulation in the shed. Because he says that will help keep the cool air and the hot air in. So I'm ready. I'm enjoying fixing up my little hippie hut she shed. Liam had just woken up from his nap and it took about five minutes to get him to look over in that direction and realize that he had been gifted a little, a little Mickey Mouse table with seats and um, some Lego blocks. So once he saw that, he forgot about everything and he was in a better mood. Sometimes when he wakes up, he just don't want to talk to people and I completely get it because I'm the same way sometimes. It takes me a minute to become fully focused so that is the end of the weekly blog this actually turned into two weeks together because it just it was so hard for me to get it together and get it going with the pregnancy and schoolwork but uh the next thing i'm going to try to work on is the third trimester update i'm in the last eight to seven weeks so need to work on that and thank you for watching i hope everyone has a great day Nobody sneaks into their house. Liam. Can I take a picture? Smile? No. Now you do this.